Hello and welcome back to Jarvis Johnson Gold, the premium channel that is free. Um, it is, it is free. But if you're watching this, you're premium. And we've got another weird guy. You thought we had enough, but no, I hoard them. And I've got an endless supply of weird guys that live on my hard drive. That sounds wrong. For those of you who tuned in to the last episode, we talked about uh, this guy, Jack Y USA, who goes around trying to pick up women. And I wanted to make a little addendum to that video because I thought that he was like just holding a camera and showing off the camera pretending to be a photographer. A lot of the video was based on that premise. And I was made aware that he, partly at least, is using the Meta smart glasses to record these videos. So a lot of people may not even know that they're on camera. So they're just being kind of weirdly followed by a guy. I feel like it may be even be better if he has a camera because then they at least know what's going on, like know the intentions of this person. Because if I see a person with a camera, I'm like, oh, okay, they're content brained at the very least. But if they have no camera to my knowledge, now I'm just being followed. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like it wasn't good before, maybe now it's worse. Uh, hello, Mark Zucker. Zuckerberg, Zuck, maybe focus a little bit more on the societal implications of what you've created. It hasn't worked for you very well in the past, but maybe less focus on becoming, <laughs> less focus on maxing and more focus on what are you doing, buddy? Like Julius Caesar quotes, but in replacing yourself, brother, my brother. This says Zucker nothing in Latin, if anyone cared. Meta CEO Zuckerberg's shirt puts him in company of Roman emperors. Oh, okay, Reuters. I don't know who wrote this headline, but it puts him in company because he literally just is using a Julius Caesar quote, but it replaced Caesar with Zuck. <laughs> He's freaking LARPing, dude. But all I'm saying is chill on the surveillance glasses, man. People have already turned it into like a doxing device, you know? Meta's Ray-Ban smart glasses used to instantly dox strangers in public thanks to AI and facial recognition. Awesome. Okay. Less shirts, more focusing on locking this shit down. We can move on to the other thing. I just had to say that piece. On today's platter, uh, we have an Italian beefcake. I'm not talking about the sandwich and I'm not talking about lasagna. I'm talking about a man, specifically this man. His name's Parker Linosa, and he can be seen here wearing a cool fit. He's got his eye black. He's got he's got the F boy froof. He's got his gold, gold, gold chains, you know, just like this channel. And then he's got his tactical eye pull out vest, which is every 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 fuck boy needs. Also handcuffs. All right, cool. Great. So that's where we're starting. That's the baseline. We're going to see what uh, what Mr. Linosa has to say. I'm fully open to hearing his, his good word. Uh, speaking of a good word, he says God first here. He has 1.1 million followers. So he's killing it, killing the game. Um, and uh, he's going to teach me a little bit about how to be a freaking Chad, I guess. I like to give these TikTokers the benefit of the doubt. I don't want to pick their worst moments and put those on display. So we're gonna start with the pinned posts. Parker has chosen these, and this is how Parker chooses to introduce himself to people landing on his page. But before we get into that, let's hear from today's sponsor, Aura. In a previous video, I talked about a data breach that AT&T had where a bunch of data was leaked out onto the internet. And recently, National Public Data, which houses 2.9 billion records of information, including full names, addresses, phone numbers, and most importantly, social security numbers were leaked online on the public internet for anyone to see. You know, even outside of the ad, this is alarming personally to me because now all of our social security numbers are just out there, which scammers can use to impersonate us and, uh, you know, do any sorts of scams. This is real, this is what actually happened. I use Aura and Aura notified me when this breach happened. It gave me options to lock my credit and take other actions to make sure that I was secure in the event that someone was using my data for nefarious purposes. For example, opening a credit card or a bank account in my name. And what Aura does is they monitor your personal information, including your social security number across the dark web, public internet, public court records, and they'll alert you if 
they find anyone misusing your identity, potentially. Aura actually does so much to keep you safe. They offer a VPN, password manager, antivirus, real-time credit and identity theft monitoring, identity theft insurance, parental controls, and they can opt you out of data requests so that companies can't sell your info. It's a lot in one app and it's available for an affordable price. Let Aura do the hard work of keeping you safe online. Head on over to Aura.com slash Jarvis and get a 14 day free trial. See what information has been unfortunately made available. Thanks to Aura for sponsoring this video. Now back to the video. I have no kids yet, but I already know there's one award that my kids are not winning when they go to school and that's perfect attendance. Because if I go to wake my daughter up for school and I see that she's tired, I'm gonna be like, it's okay, mama. So you wanna know why you can stay home sleeping because they're teaching you bullshit in school anyway. <laughs> First of all, button your shirt. <laughs> I, I'm sorry. I just, I don't need to be seeing all that. Congrats. Okay. But you're, you're flaunting. You're showing off. Okay. Save some suspense. All right. I'm of two minds because one, oh, that's cute. You're listening to your hypothetical daughter's needs. On the other hand, I was always tired when I woke up. That's kind of the whole thing about waking up is that you're like, Ooh, shaking off the rust a little bit. Time to like do a day. I'm tired right now. <laughs> and I would, honestly, I would like to go back to bed. Sometimes people have to work. Why, what, who is he pandering to? <laughs> I, I don't get who this is for. But then the thing about uh, teaching you bullshit in school feels a little bit like a dog whistle. I don't know what he's talking about. Obviously our school system isn't perfect, but is a very important institution. I would say. And missing school can have lots of consequences. I pretended to be sick my fair amount of days so that I could stay home and play on my Game Boy. So a little bit's okay, but you know, jury's still out, I don't know what you mean. It sounds like you're never taking your daughter to school because she's tired. Also worth noting that our education system, despite being one of the pillars on which our society is built, is criminally underfunded, under undercared for, and uh, d diminished and discredited and have its a vi validity question by, <laughs> by people like this, who's just got, I don't know which Roman numeral this is, there's so many letters. It's commemorating Super Bowl 5 billion <laughs> when that happens. Best Dad Award goes to Park. I mean, I think we can all applaud. I think the best dad award does go to him, despite not being a dad or anything. And this all being hypothetical and just something he's saying while shirtless on TikTok. I'm sure what he says on TikTok is what he'll do in real life. Whoa, okay. This looks like a Danny Gonzalez character, first of all. <laughs> wow. POV, you fell in love with an Italian. I fell in love with an Italian, and now I have to deal with sunglasses hanging off the back of his head. Danny, what have you done with the place? <laughs> what is going on, dude? So much has changed. I don't even recognize you anymore. POV, you fell in love with an Italian. The next thing you see is just him with his buddy. <laughs> I don't understand. This one has 1.2 million likes, which I love because that's so many. And if I was hot, this is exactly what I would do uh, with my life. <laughs> I guess 1.2 million people want to see me just look attractive online. I, you play the cards you're dealt and I, I cannot fault that. What's up, y'all? Do you have 15 seconds for God? If you do, please share this Bible verse with someone. Isaiah 60, verse 22. When the time is right, I, the Lord, will make it happen. There's so much happening here, and I would never mock someone's faith, but I do think that we have uh, evolved some some in some ways as a society when you have like the F boy archetype shirtless with his gold chain in a DX racer chair reading Bible verses. Like it just sounds like an action Bronson lyric. <laughs> I went to his most recent post. So that we're clear, we are currently in the midst of a historic hurricane season that is going to cost much destruction. It's a horrible natural disaster. Tons of people are evacuating their homes, leaving behind belongings, gathering loved ones, moving to high ground if they can't get out of, you know, uh, th their place of, uh, that they've lived all their lives. I don't think it's a thing that should be exploited for content. Parker says, no hurricane is going to stop my grind. Milton has never met Parker Lenosa. He's never met the dad that says, hey, you can go back to sleep. <laughs> if you're tired, you can go back to sleep. Yeah, Milton's never met a guy like that. So that's what he's saying. By the way, song, The Purge, Relax, Barker. Uh, again, making light of such a natural disaster is just, ah, tasteless, let's say. Also, if you, 
you know, were in any of the uh, affected areas, you know, this hurricane season, my heart goes out to you. It's crazy right now. And I just, I personally remember growing up in Florida during hurricane season, like watching out my window, trees blew over. Like I've seen, like seeing that with my freaking eyes or then like uh, when I was really young, a tree hit my house and then like, da- like we had to like d- get rid of like a little part of the house that we had because uh, we couldn't afford to renovate it. And it's just like so, it, it just impacts so many lives. You know, when people are, are gridlocked in 20 hours of traffic to escape the affected zones for their safety, and you know, you're doing a, a light TikTok with an air raid siren talking about your grind. I just, ah, ooh. <laughs> So is the premise of this video that he heard an air raid siren and thought, I got to go to the gym and get my reps in. Let me chug my energy drink. I don't know what this is. And lock in real quick, actually, because nothing stops my grind. Oh, okay. So he's just making a lot of content about the hurricane. Chasing Hurricane Milton in Tampa, Florida. Can I just say this is deplorable. <laughs> this is so, so stupid. So fucked. Oh, okay. Also, homie is in Miami, which uh, makes everything make sense. <laughs> just, just so we're clear. He's in Miami. That is so much worse. Just to like hashtagging Tampa, dude. Hashtagging hurricane. Brother, dude. Chasing Hurricane Milton. You are not chasing anything but clout, my guy. This tattoo, by the way, is crazy. <laughs> this is wild. What's up, you guys? Y'all, I'm on the coast of Tampa, Florida right now. This is the calm before the storm. I've been here for 20 years. What makes you think that Milton is going to stop me? I'm a Floridian at heart. Why does he say I'm a Floridian? Sorry, this is the first thing I'm <laughs> taking issue with. When you say I'm a Floridian at heart, that's a phrase that implies that you're not from Florida, but it seems like he is from Florida. So he's a Floridian at heart and at place. I think he's 20 years old and he's making it sound like he moved to Florida 20 years ago. Oh, I get it. He's half Floridian and half Italian. That makes sense. He's a Floridian at heart because he's an Italian at soul. He's also in Tampa at heart because he's not literally there. That's not Tampa hot. And his response is Instagram Parker, this guy rules. He's so sick. He's so cool and based and why Jesus on his arm can only approve. Bro, I live in Florida and I have never seen that building and that is in Miami. People are often saying that I'm jealous of Parker Linosa and that I wish I was more like him and that I'm only, um... Floridian at place and not Floridian at heart like him. And they're all right. They're all correct. Cause I am not lying about storm chasing, uh, and being in Tampa to 100,000 likes on TikTok and 1.2 million views, 1.8 million views. My mistake. Follow up right now. Milton, you can not stop me. Tampa, Florida strong, baby. Tampa, Florida strong while you're in a high rise in Miami is audacious let's say that's wild you know that clout is a hell of a drug when like someone with their full fucking bulbous chest their 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 peckly boobage they puff it up and they say tampa florida strong while being in a different city <laughs> so that's where we start with parker and i wish for parker's safety and i wish that parker uh changes his mind about not evacuating even if he's in Miami like you know Miami is you know on the water so I hope Parker stayed safe as of right now Milton is over the Atlantic and Miami was not hit it was to my knowledge a, a place that people evacuated to so capping about this on your TikTok sucks now watching these in reverse order now it makes sense that the fucking gym was open brother you're in miami <laughs> saying tampa florida strong is it, it just pisses me off my heart goes out to the people who were harmed by the storm who are rightfully offended by his actions here i think it sucks that's i mean that's all i can really say is it sucks and and uh that's bad we've kind of set the stage on parker because we know how he treats uh, a serious situation so um I think that tells a lot about a person, but let's just let's just keep the good times rolling. He has a video called What This Generation Needs to Understand, and I think maybe I should learn something from it. Him paying for the groceries, her cooking for him, him buying the house, her making it a home. These are, okay, these are could have been written 150 years ago. Him working hard, her supporting him. Still, okay, 150-year-old talking points. If, if that, probably 1,000-year-old talking points. Him booking the vacation, her relaxing him. Don't, wanna, don't want that to be explained. Him giving her children, her making it a family. Jesus Christ. I'm going to stop reading this. This 
comment sums it up well, or we could both work and split the chores. Just an idea. I don't know. It is very, very funny to me to have like a 20 year old feel like they're spitting when it comes to <laughs> the idea of the nuclear family, which is just so basic. It's prehistoric at this point. Stop skipping the gym. Get up. Remember, we need to stay hotter than the ops at all costs. You do not have ops. <laughs> what do you mean the ops? The ops are your fucking shirts, dude. <laughs> you, you, like the ops are the shirts that you cannot keep on. If she's a nurse, RN, BSN, in med school, doctor, nurse practitioner, and anything like that, these are the girls that need to be taken care of. I love the slap on the knees or on the thighs like he's fed up with how untaken care of the nurse practitioners are. And not that that's not happening. Like, of course, everyone needs love, right? But with the birthday balloons and the DX racer chair and the clapping, dude, it's awesome. It's just, it's every frame of painting. These are the girls that need to be taken care of. These are the ones that need to be wiped up, baby. There's not many of them out there. There's not many women who need to be wiped up out there. I don't know about all that. Ladies. Now I'm pandering. <laughs> Out there studying and crying all day just to take care of patients. Why is he yelling? I, I, this is again like, okay, the message isn't that isn't bad. He's kind of got the right idea, but then every now and again, he like deviates into something a little strange. He's like, sometimes you need a lollipop. <laughs> And you're like, okay, I, I, yeah, lollipop sounds nice. You put some of these ladies out there, they don't, whoa, whoa, whoa. They don't deserve a lollipop. And you're like, okay, why? <laughs> what is it about these other people that don't deserve a nice thing? Why don't they get a lollipop? What are you alluding to? When she's off the clock, you need to be taking care of her. So this feels at odds with like the list of responsibilities that he posted at a previous TikTok, which makes me think that he doesn't believe anything that he's saying. It's just like, what? who am I pandering to in this moment? And just seeing what sticks because part of the strategy of the pander is you've got to niche down, right? Maybe this is what he's learning because you can't just be like, women, ah, women need to be treated better. Just like, and then, and then you just cross your arms and you like, show the b-roll of you putting on your hat and like driving your aston martin while drake plays in the background i don't want to get demonetized i don't yeah that doesn't get it done because people are like ah it's too generic but if you're specifically listing jobs and then you're saying nurses nurse practitioners bsns those people deserve hugs and no one else and then you're like okay I'm one of those people, so I'm going to share that with all of my friends who have the same job as me and all my coworkers. But I wouldn't be surprised if he has another video where he lists another series of jobs. What special things those people get. What special treats they deserve. Come on, boys. Lock in, baby. Lock in, baby. Okay, there's something I, and, and again, I can't knock the hustle. I can just knock the all the horrible stuff that we talked about. There is something about pretty boy TikTokers that I find funny. And again, if I was in their position, I'd probably be doing similar content where they have to look hot in every frame. So they just move very unnaturally. Lock in, baby. <laughs> Someone needs to make one of these videos about the like F-boy TikTokers. F-boy TikTokers, fellas, you don't always have to look hot in every frame. You can frown. It's okay. You don't always have to grind. I don't chase. But for a woman in some scrubs, I might jog a little. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Why is jog capitalized here? I don't chase. <laughs> but when it comes to a storm in a city I'm not in, <laughs> I might lie a little. Jog being capitalized is so funny. Hey, this is my friend Jog. <laughs> He's like niching into nurse fetishization, which I guess is a thing. It's not even a nurse. It's a woman in some scrubs. <laughs> so if she's doing stolen valor for nurse practitioners, then he might jog a little. This dude loves the low effort two-part slideshow. Maturing is realizing what is going on? Girls in scrubs do it best, dude. This is so such a strange turn. He's so obsessed, dude. Unfortunately, I'm in desperate need of that double twister hawk to a 3000. <laughs> I swear to God, if the next slide is about a nurse. Oh, there's only one. It's just an image with that. Are we doing this now? We're posting a singular image on TikTok with a song where you say, I need that, I'm in desperate need of that double twister Hawk Tua 3000. 
and you go post not even for the girls who will give that double twister hawk to a 3000 i might jog a little not even i'm in desperate need of double twister hawk to a 3000 from a girl in scrubs none of that literally just i need a blowjob <laughs> can someone help <laughs> what makes you different than every guy I'm waiting till marriage. That's, he's not waiting for marriage for the double twister Hawk 2 or 3000. You need vitamin I. Vitamin Italian mafia boyfriend. Okay, <laughs> awesome. Is it Christmas? Why are you dressed like this? Is this like a I'm not white, I'm Italian situation? Is that, <laughs> that does not sound like Italian. Yes, yeah, someone's calling him out. You're posting an Albanian song when you're not. He's like, you're, you don't know my culture. This is, this is a famous Italian song. If you're half white, half Italian, and you're, and you're a Floridian at heart, this is your anthem, dude. <laughs> Oh, this is awesome. Oh, man. I mean, hey, we, we we all, we're all 20. That's some real shit. I don't know how you women do it. I'm giving props to you guys. This is already awesome. I don't know what he's about to give women props for, but I love that we're clapping. Women will go work a 12-hour shift after only five hours of sleep. Like, all they need is some, all they need is some caffeine and a little bit of attitude. And Everyone does that, is the thing. Like, I mean, shout out to women, of course, but like, these are, <laughs> these are conditions that many people can relate to they can save the world on the other hand me i get i get i'm on five hours of sleep i'm on a fifth grade freaking reading level i can't even breathe properly either <laughs> okay wait, well i won't say it i won't say it i want no puppy she want a big dog watch my clothes the other day found a tin ball i feel like if you fall in love with the D1 football player, he's not mogging at you in the middle of a dick sporting goods. This is stolen valor for athletes, and I actually feel like there's gotta be people upset about this in the uh, in the comments. Yeah, bro went to dicks and put this on for a few clicks. This is what a $20,000 tattoo looks like. He shows his friend, he shows this man a tattoo. They shake on it. Oh, I see. Wait, is this more? Is this a different arm? What happened to, oh, there he is. He's getting wide Jesus. We're seeing the beginning of the legend here. Let's just say that no one believes it's 20k. Two things every guy needs. Would be a Parker post without a photo we've seen three or four or five times. Two things everything guy, every guy needs. Okay, what? Uh, it's gonna be a car and it's gonna be a woman. And I say a woman like that to uh, with the specific goal of objectification because that's what I think he's gonna do. That's my hypothetical. A Lamborghini. He missed an opportunity to say a nurse here, and uh, this also is not him, which is so funny. I, actually, you know what? It's not funny. Like, let's post app aspirationally. I like that. He's like, maybe this will be me one day. Thank you, everybody. Stay gold.